What's up guys, my name is Ace, and Season 3 for Modern Warfare 3 is about a week and a half away, and some leaks have been trickling in, so I wanted to cover what we know so far based on leaks for this season. Keeping in mind, of course, these are leaks, not officially confirmed, and therefore they are subject to change. But I'm going to be sharing three guns that have leaked for Season 3, a possible new vest as well, and then finally, I'm just going to be sharing some of my other hopes and expectations for Season 3 of this game. And without further ado, let's dive right into this, and you guys might remember from a long time ago, I believe this was maybe even before the game launched, there were some leaks that came out regarding an Advanced Warfare themed season for Modern Warfare 3. And it appears Season 3 may be that season because two of the three weapons that have leaked are coming from Advanced Warfare. The first one is the Moore's Sniper Rifle, and according to data miners, this one should be available in the Battle Pass right at the launch of Season 3. And then the other Advanced Warfare weapon that was leaked that's coming mid-season most likely is the BAL-27 from Advanced Warfare. Now these guns may end up having entirely different names when they actually come out, but these are what the weapon models are at least based on. And then on top of those two Advanced Warfare weapons, there's another one that leaked, and this is the MP9 in the SMG category. And this one also appears to be coming within the Battle Pass for Season 3. So for this season, it's looking like we're going to be getting one Sniper Rifle, one Assault Rifle, and one SMG, and then possibly a melee weapon mixed in there. There was a reference to a Tactical Knife found, although it seems to be up in the air at this point as to whether or not that Tactical Knife is coming for Season 3. And with this, I am really happy to see we're getting a new sniper rifle for the game. And then as much as I always like to see assault rifles and SMGs added post-launch, because those are the guns that people are going to use most often, I feel like we have been getting quite a few of those post-launch already. And one thing I've noticed is we haven't seen a single new marksman rifle or shotgun since the release of this game. And on one hand, I get it. They want to add guns that are going to see the most usage, and SMGs and assault rifles tend to see the most usage. But still, it would be nice to see a marksman rifle and or shotgun come at some point in the not too distant future. In either case, the next thing I wanted to discuss here is just the fact that since we're seeing some Advanced Warfare content come with Season 3, are there going to be other things Advanced Warfare themed coming? Like, perhaps, a remade map or two from Advanced Warfare, since that was also a Sledgehammer Call of Duty. For me personally, I wouldn't mind seeing maps like Detroit, or Retreat, or Overload, or Green Band come from Advanced Warfare, because I think all of those could play reasonably well with boots on the ground without having advanced movement, with maybe just a couple adjustments needed here or there to some pieces of cover or something. But that's just one thought I had regarding a potential for an Advanced Warfare themed season. The next one that I'm sure many people have thought of as well is, what about a limited time mode with jetpacks? I think something like that would be an absolute blast, it would be a great change of pace, a totally different way to play the game. However, at the same time, this does seem pretty unlikely. I kind of doubt they would go through all of that effort redesigning the movement system with the new branch of the engine just for a limited time mode, but perhaps I'm mistaken on this and it's easier to port that over than I think it would be. In either case, I'm definitely not going to have any expectation for this, but if they did something like that, it would be a very pleasant surprise. Next up, let's talk a little bit about map expectations, because at this stage, none of the maps have actually leaked for Season 3, so this is all just my sort of hopes and expectations for maps. With Season 2, I was extremely happy to see that we got four 6v6 maps throughout the season, and three of those were brand new maps with one remade map. As I've been saying basically for the whole season, I think that's absolutely perfect for seasonal content. I love to see that ratio of three brand new maps to one remade map for 6v6. But the big thing with Season 2 is there was no Ground War map added at all. And if I'm not mistaken, Ground War hasn't seen any new maps since the game launched. So to me, it seems more likely we are going to be seeing probably three 6v6 maps for Season 3, as well as a Ground War map. And I think that would be a fair trade-off for those people that are really into Ground War. I personally don't play it at all in Modern Warfare 3, but I can definitely understand for those that are really into that, how frustrating it's been to not have any new map content for that mode. So my personal guess here is for 6v6, we'll see two original maps as well as one remade map, and then also a ground war map for Season 3. But time will tell on this. I mean, we're going to find out about this most likely by the end of the week this week. We should have our roadmap and blog post explaining the content that we can expect to see next week. Next up, let's talk about a leaked vest that may or may not be coming with Season 3, and this is the Compression Carrier. And the reason I say this may or may not come is this vest was actually leaked before the game launched. I believe references to this vest were found in the code for the beta build of the game. And with this compression carrier vest, the big perk that's attached to this is effectively quick fix. So the moment you get a kill, if you're hurt, it will instantly trigger your healing. And this is something that I personally thought we were going to see for Season 2 instead of the Ninja Vest. 
And I thought the game could really use something like that. However, with Season 2, we also got that buff to our health regeneration across the board. And therefore, I think a vest like this isn't nearly as necessary as I thought it was before Season 2 launched. But at the same time, I definitely wouldn't be opposed to this launching with Season 3. And it could potentially come for Season 3. And then this leaves me with one last thing I wanted to mention here. And this is the fact that it's expected that Specialist will be coming to Warzone with Season 3. This was actually officially teased by one of the developers a little while back in one of the blog posts. But unfortunately, I think it's highly unlikely we're going to be seeing Specialist for multiplayer, at least with Season 3. And this is honestly one of the biggest things as far as additions to the game that I would love to see added to multiplayer. I know I may sound like a broken record here because I have brought this up quite often, even back in the beta build of the game. And I do keep bringing it up, but it's something that I feel would really add a whole lot of depth and fun and replayability to the game. So while I don't expect any sort of a specialist system for multiplayer with Season 3, I am hoping we will eventually get it at some point down the road for this game. Whether that's in the form of a vest or maybe just adding it to the game alongside kill streaks and score streaks so you can select that on a toggle in either case that's pretty much everything i wanted to discuss in today's video and with that i am really curious to hear from you guys in those comments down below first off what do you guys think about the leaked weapons that are coming the moors the bell 27 as well as the mp9 and on top of that what other hopes and expectations do you have for season 3 of modern warfare 3's multiplayer do you think we may see some more Advanced Warfare themed content, like maybe a remade map from Advanced Warfare? And if so, which Advanced Warfare maps would you like to see come to this game? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.